You know what really burns? The lack of love for ferns. Even after all these years and the inclusion of several foliage-specific crafts, they are almost infuriatingly interesting as water balloons for Pete's sake. As I mean, come on now. What other flower can boast about spawning beneath the behemoth that is the ancient forest reanimated skeleton? The guy leaves behind so much, in fact, that a single night might have you walking away with multiple stacks of the stuff in no time flats. But I suppose the question always is, what can they do and why does foliage matter? And unfortunately, they can do a lot and a little. Foliage is classified as a petal in this game, and all petals besides dark ones do the exact same things. Refuel fires by a whopping 3%, or heal us for an otherwise ignorable 1 health each munch. That said, they do have legitimate crafts to discuss nowadays when combined with broken shells to perhaps make some different decoration items if you do so please with potted ferns, all of which match the variety of natural ferns actually, and or slimy turf here. Now the latter is the newest and will require a trip to the ancient archive in order to gain access to the terra firma tamper, however, I think I'd like to take a different detour if you don't mind, one to a familiar yet long forgotten place. Don't starve Hamlet's. For you see, Hamlet is the only Don't Starve experience in the history of the Don't Starve games to use ferns as anything else beyond a decoration. It literally gives them their own crockpot dish of all things. And this is because foliage counts as a vegetable food in Solo Don't Starve and can be used for stuff like the respectable steamed ham sandwich here or any other dish that's going to require vegetables or as a simple vegetable filler, while the only way to get anywhere close to using ferns as something like this and don't start together is to play the Gorge, an event that isn't even officially playable anymore. So what gives there, Clay? Clearly you have thought about them counting as an ingredient once, so why not again? I don't know, but I can tell you that it would certainly give us a reason to care about these purple plants dotting our sunken forests, outskirts of the ruins, wilds, and even the ruins proper, let me tell ya. And if that ain't enough, even our tumbleweeds can drop foliage from time to time. Now if they're here, there, and everywhere, while also having gotten use elsewhere, I say it should all be translating across dimensions. Make them count as a vegetable, as they once did, and all will be right with the world. At least in this beard's opinion, that is. But let me know your thoughts and everything you've seen and heard here today yourself, folks. But I'll leave you with this. While I agree that not everything needs to matter, and that goes for every game, mind you. When the things in question spawn like ferns do, and have a history like foliage does, perhaps just a little bit more love should be thrown its way. Hence this video. Thanks for watching, folks. Well, wish it to all, pick them petals, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.